तो दिस कोड आर्टिफेक्ट इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कोड आर्टिफेक्ट सर्विस दैट द अमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज क्लाउड प्रोवाइड द यूज केसेस एंड वॉट प्रॉब्लम डज इट सॉल्व एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वेरियस एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग द कोड आर्टिफेक्ट वाई इट्स रिक्वायर्ड ऑल्सो एट द लेटेस्ट स्टेजेस वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अ लैब सेशन वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिप्लॉय द कोड आर्टिफेक्ट फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ इट कैन कैश द पैकेजेस विच आर एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट यूजेस द स्पीडिंग अप द पैकेजेस रिट्रीवल फॉर डिप्लॉइंग आर एप्लीकेशन सो दिस कोड आर्टिफेक्ट Uh, is basically used as an overall part of our CI/CD to improve the timing of our CI/CD. Uh, all right. So that being said, let's get started. So the very first question: What is AWS Code Artifact? So AWS Code Artifact is a fully managed artifact repository service provided by the Amazon Web Services. It is basically designed to help the software development teams to securely store, uh, publish. and share software packages which are used in their application now this application can be anything it can uh, be something like node js java uh, because all of them uses this uh, dependencies um, basically the packages which is required uh, for the application to run now code artifact act as a centralized repository for storing the dependencies so if i talk about um, for example maven uh, maven is uh, basically a build tool which allows you to develop the applications in maven and it uses all the packages are stored over the maven central the maven central act as a centralized store so uh, but the thing is maven central is basically located over internet and when you initially download it can take some time to download those packages now what is going to happen is when you download over internet these packages will be downloaded every time which is thus increasing the time of download so instead what we do is we basically store these packages into our centralized repository like code artifact so that these packages don't have to download every time over the internet and we are basically using the uh, these packages from our cache which is basically stored inside the code artifact thus it speeds up the overall download of the packages that's why it acts like a centralized repository for storing the dependencies and artifacts such as our libraries frameworks and modules so basically these are used in various stages in the software development life cycle and uh, so this is an absolutely must for the uh, application teams and code artifact is one of the solutions the other solutions would be like nexus repository uh, etc now uh, aws code artifact is provided by uh, amazon web services that is one of its unique point it is highly integrated with the other services so you can leverage the iam based services for the permission control and all so uh, that's the main purpose of using the code artifact now uh, uh, let's move further so we are going to discuss about the key features of the aws code artifact now now if we discuss about the feature the very first feature is the compatibility with the popular package manager um, so you will see code artifact is uh, uh, supports all the popular package managers like npm that i just discussed with you that is your node js uh with java it uses it's uh, compatible with maven so if you are having a maven project you can directly use the code artifact then P, uh, pypy for uh, python and you get for dot net this means that developers can seamlessly integrate the code artifact with their existing workflow and tools so there is no specialized uh, thing which is required to integrate the code artifact uh, you can uh, right away start to use them if you are using one of these uh, you know for your project development and these are the uh, very popular ones so chances are you would be using one of them the next one is secure and the private repositories so code artifact provides you a secure environment for hosting private repositories a developer can control the access to the repositories using aws identity and access management policies ensuring that only authorized users can access the specific artifacts this is the most important part because whenever you are um, accessing these artifacts which generally holds the in, in, in important information about your applications and are it's dependent upon it since it's in private so again uh, this increases the security overall 
and um, um, it also helps you allow to manage the access control uh, using the IAM so you don't need any uh, third party tool or the identity and access management basically uh, IAM which you are using for the other services in the cloud same can be used to manage your uh, code artifact uh, access control policies thus um, it provides you a granular control on who uh, what actions can be performed by which users over the code artifacts so thus increasing the security even further next is network efficiency code artifact reduces the download uh, latencies and optimizes the package retrieval by caching these artifacts closer to the developer build environment so uh, the main uh, uh, thing here is that uh, it basically caches all these uh, artifacts which you download from the centralized repository right so you don't uh, have to go over to the internet and thus it uh, uh, packages are available directly in your intranet itself so it would obviously be faster and reducing the latency that is the major uh, thing that the code artifact facilitates for you for example um, in our uh, lately in our project we saw that when we were downloading the packages from the centralized uh, repository like uh, maven uh, central then it uh, the build job was taking around 20 minutes later when we shifted to code artifact it took less than eight minutes so there was a huge time improvement because of the caching of these artifacts and thus the lesser time was being uh, used uh, for building the job to replicate their repositories to different aws regions for improved availability and disaster recovery so um, uh, this code artifact can automatically replicate your uh, packages uh, across the multiple regions um, and thus you can create your DR environments and this increases the fault tolerance and the high availability of your overall environment just in case if any region is suffering some issues then you can easily be uh, up and running in the other regions okay and it also helps in uh, reducing the regional uh, latencies if you are running your application across the multiple geographies like that next comes the scalability and performance as a managed service code artifact scales automatically to accommodate increased usage and storage needs providing high availability and re reliability uh, this is very important because once your project becomes very big uh, you will have increased number of dependencies you don't have to worry about the storage requirements for those uh, dependencies you can keep on storing it one of the thing about the nexus was that uh, it used to store about 90 uh, days of artifacts uh, beyond which it would we would have to delete it right so th this kind of storage uh, issues are not there in the code artifacts so it automatically scales out uh, so you don't have to remove your packages it will always be there so you can rely on the code artifact for managing those uh, storage uh, needs next is integration with the aws developer tools now code artifact seamlessly integrates with other developer tools like aws code build code deploy and code pipeline now all of these are uh, aws specific so if you are using the full suite of the aws for your build and deployment pipelines you can easily integrate even if not you are using something like gitlab or some other jenkins or some other uh, cicd tool then also you can use the code artifact it gets integrated with them as well you can easily use it as a uh, artifactory for storing your artifacts and thus reducing the time for downloading those packages uh, okay so it's make it easier to build continuous integrations and in the deployment pipelines so this is the another advantage of using um, the code artifact now uh, the last one last uh, feature about the code artifact it's, it's uh, helps in compliance and auditing code artifacts provides detailed audit trails and compliance control helping the organization to meet their regulatory requirements and ensuring accountability for artifact access and changes this is very important from uh, the organization where the security and the audit controls are uh, uh, heavily used uh, especially for the bigger organizations which has to do the periodic auditing of their systems um, uh, so the artifact uh, if these artifacts are getting changed then the production code might be changed as well so they need to audit all the changes which has been happening so the code artifact can provide the detail uh, uh, trails audit trails for uh, the auditors to uh, implement these compliances and validate that uh, the artifacts that they are running in the production environments are the ones which which they need to do and nothing has been changed in these artifacts because this has lately been targeted from the security perspective so it becomes very important that these audit trails are there for improvement of the overall security of the uh, infrastructure that you are running uh, in your environment so so uh, 
in nutshell if we discuss by using the code artifact development teams can streamline their package management process which is very uh, fundamental to the application development and reduce the operational overhead and enhance the security and reliability of their software projects it simplifies the management of dependencies and allows the developer to focus on building innovative applications rather than managing the artifacts and their distribution. So basically it reduces the overhead uh, from the developers. They no longer have to worry about managing these artifacts and how they are going to be distributed across your organization. All the other aspects like uh, you can easily use the IAM for managing the access permissions and control. It automatically manages the storage. <laughs> it's highly available. It replicates across multiple environments. So all this operational overhead is now removed from the uh, developers and they can uh, focus more towards their development rather than worrying about how they are going to manage and um, uh, keep these artifacts and become uh, make them av available across the different applications and the environments that they are having. So this is how it reduces overall operational overhead for the uh, teams. Okay, so that's about the uh, part one of our AWS code artifact in which we uh, now have a better understanding about what is code artifact, what are the different features that the code artifact provides and why um, it makes sense to shift and uh, move our artifacts over the code artifact for managing it. Okay, in our uh, next topic, we are going to further uh, take a deep dive inside the package management and look at the various uh, uh, languages and the tools which are available which you can integrate with the package management and then we are also going to see about how we can access these code artifact what are the different ways of accessing the code artifacts and creating them and uh, later we are going to discuss about the uh, lab uh, overall lab uh, for setting up the code artifact from scratch so that's all for this video uh, thank you and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you everyone